Hey guys, welcome back to week three of our beginner series. Today we're here talking to you about fabric. Probably the most fun part yeah, of it is. sewing. At least for me. It's the best. Yeah. The best part for sure. Yes. So if you're a beginner like us, you probably started with quilters, weight, cotton. It's kind of the go-to, easily able to find yes. any local fabric shop. They're going to have your quilters, weight, cotton. Well, as you grow, you're going to want to start moving away from that quilters, weight, cotton, because there's lots of better things out there that are still easy to sew, slightly more challenging. We have a few things for here for you um, that are a little more challenging, but really not that much more. No, and a lot of them you'll find are still cotton, so mm -hmm. it'll be familiar to you, but it won't be that weight and it won't mm -hmm. be that repeating pattern necessarily, mm -hmm. um, which results in, the weight results in a, a boxier garment. Yeah, you'll be able to make things that are more similar to what you would find in the store, and I think that um, as you develop your sewing skills, that's kind of where everyone ends up mm -hmm. going yeah. with it. So. Yes, definitely. All right, so first up we have a cotton lawn. This one's been cut a little bit, just so excuse that. This is um, a gorgeous Liberty cotton lawn. Um, they are a little more pricey, but that's just Liberty. There's lots of cotton lawns you can find out there um, that aren't in their price range, but they just have the beautiful prints. Um, so it is lighter than a quilting weight cotton. Probably can't see the, the sun shining through. Yeah. <laughs> but it, they are more sheer. Um, the most ones I've seen are more sheer. Have mm -hmm. you ever run across one that's not quite as see through? Well, I mean, I think it probably depends on the background. Yeah, that's true. This is it a white background. It depends on the print. Too. Yeah. Yeah, so they are um, a little more drapey, a little more flowy and light, not that stiff, boxy um, feel of the quilter's weight cotton. A cotton lawn so it's the same as quilter's cotton. Yeah, really no difference there. Um, it's just kind of, it's a finer weave. Yep. There, so it, it's got a little more of a sheen to it. Yeah. So cotton lawns are great, really easy fabric. Yeah. Um, step up from the quilter's cotton. And you're going to be able to make, um, you know, a lot of those beginner patterns that we mm -hmm. talked about with a lawn with really any of these wovens that we're talking about. Yeah. So when you think of lawn, think of something as just like one step lighter than quilter's weight cotton. Mm -hmm. We'll go even lighter than that when we talk about voile, but lawn is just like one step lighter than quilter's cotton is how I would describe it. Yeah. Let's do the voile next then so we can kind of stay on the same. Okay. Voile. Trend. Voile was probably the first thing I sewed after quilter's cotton. It was a voile. Gosh, I don't know if I remember. Yeah. Definitely to think of voile. Um, voile Oh, I'll have to, we'll have to try to find a link. There's an exact description of what voile is. I believe, um, didn't Anna Marie Horner Maybe. develop it? I'm oh. pretty sure. Pretty sure I read that summer when I was first starting looking into voile. We should have researched that for you guys. Um, but we'll look it up. I'm pretty sure that she no. developed voile. Um, if not, that's a good I really rumor think that so. you are. <laughs> I don't know. I'm pretty sure. Um, but voile is even lighter than lawn. Um, really silkier. It has more of a sheen than lawn. Um, but I think it's almost as easy as lawn. It's hard to think back to when you're a beginner to think how easy something is. I <laughs> remember just feeling voile Feel. for the first time. It feels buttery. You it's, think. Yeah to yourself, oh, this is just cotton, mm -hmm. but it doesn't, I mean, it feels so it much feels better. It feels so nice. And there are lots of oil options out there. I remember when I first started sewing, there wasn't as many, but now you really see it a lot. Art Gallery has great um, oil options. There's a lot out there. Um, so you can even go pick a more flowy garment with this. Looks great in skirts. You can do blouses out of oil. Lawn, wouldn't want to do a flowy blouse out of lawn. It's a little too stiff. But right. voile is, is, would be, make a really nice blouse. Yeah, anything that has any billowing or draping mm -hmm. or gathering or pleating mm -hmm. would yeah. be good. Yes. Okay, I'm not You're seeing not where Anna Marie Horner I swear I thought I saw. created voile. I imagine it probably goes back in time quite, quite a bit. I don't know. We're gonna, we'll let you know. I'm going to do a little more research. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm like, you're deterred. I, yeah, I'm really interested um, to see. The term comes from French and means veil, so that can help you remember mm -hmm. 
kind of the sheerness and the the lightness. If I'm wrong, I don't know how I would have. Where would I have gotten that from? <laughs> um, I'm not sure. But yeah, Wikipedia doesn't have a ton of information, but it definitely does not say doesn't anything say about Anna Marie Horner at all. Oh, my mind is just given her big props. <laughs> <laughs> yes, maybe. That's interesting. That's one of those sewing rumors that, mm. you know, you kind of hear like the same of the scissors that we talked about in the yeah. previous video. It's kind of one of those things, so. Anyways, next up is Seersucker. A Southern Girls, yes. like, uniform, yes. basically. We live in the South, so it's very popular where we live. Yeah. Seersucker actually is the first dress I made. This is the first thing I sewed with. Okay. Yeah. Um, so I didn't start with Quilter's Cotton. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I started I with Seersucker. Yeah, I, remember I picked out Seersucker and I made the hazel dress. Of course, I was in a class, so I had mm. a little more support with me. But really, Seersucker sews is just like quilting cotton. Very yeah. nice. And of course, it's it's more apparel looking because you're seeing it in the stores. Yeah, um, Especially exactly. down here, lots of skirts. Um, shirt dresses are great out of Seersucker. So really great skirts. option. Yeah, A-line skirts are really good. It is a little bit more on the sturdy side, yes, not nearly definitely. as drapey yeah. as that. And it's, you know, obviously most recognized for the stripes that it has. Mm -hmm. And it's not just cotton with stripes printed on it. No. It's the Texture. way, yeah, the way that it's actually woven together is what makes it technically a seersucker. But you can get seersucker in tons of colors. Mm -hmm. You can even get it embroidered with little crabs or sailboats. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's a lot yeah, of really cute. cute ones out there. And it's, at, it's really affordable. Yeah. Um, this was, I think this was less ten, than $10 a yard. Oh, for it's sure. It's really great quality. Yeah, though. for sure. So seersucker makes something really cute for sure. Yeah. So next is another one that you see everywhere in stores, especially, especially right this summer. I feel yeah. like it just blew everywhere. Up. Chambray. There's lots of different kinds of chambray. This is a definitely a, a heavier one. It is um, the same type of chambray I made my alder shirt dress out of. So right. it's a little heavier. Um, they do sell some lighter ones that would be a little trickier because they're a lighter weight. But this one is so easy to sew with, so easy to cut. Press is great. Um, I mean, trickier, light, the lighter chambray would be trickier, but not difficult. Not difficult, no. I'm just trying to categorize if I, if yeah. I can at it all. Would, but. It would be the weight of these others mm -hmm. that we've already talked about. So um, if you wanted to make a shirt dress, a heavier one would be good. But if you yeah. were wanting to make a chambray <clears throat> blouse or something billowing or gathered, mm -hmm. don't let that deter you. Like, it's not going to be hard or undoable, just different. Just different. Yeah, yes, definitely. So yeah, I mean, chambray. chambray is great. Great. Mm -hmm. And again, everything that we've mentioned so far is still 100% cotton. Mm -hmm. There aren't any other materials, no polyester, no rayon, none of that. It's still 100% cotton. And I think that as we move away from 100% cotton, yes, um, just keep in mind that anything that you find that's 100% cotton is probably going to be a safe bet. The only question mark is going to be the weight of mm -hmm. that material, how light or drapey it's going to be versus structured and versus structured and like more boxy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So cotton is always a go to mm -hmm. for anything. All right. So next up we have my favorite fabric to sew with. Is it your favorite too? Yeah. 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 Probably. yeah. That's Rayon Shally. It is just amazing. Um, my top is Rayon Shally. Super cheap final fabric.com. I think this cost, this cost me like $8 to make. Nice. Yeah, yeah. It looks much more expensive than yeah, that. Yeah, right? Yeah. No, no, no. I am so sorry. That is completely wrong. I got it's this It's $25 fabric. No, yard. it was still super cheap. It probably was $8. I got this on Style Maker Fabric. She has a selvage yard section where she gets like the bolt end of designer fabrics. So there's it's very limited yardage. And you have to buy what's... Yep, you have to buy... So a couple of them are like, you can either buy two yards or four yards or one yard or three yards. So um, there are some different quantities. This There was a yard left. Gotcha. So I bought it perfect amount for, the, <laughs> for top. the top so yes check out that section pretty good finds <laughs> yeah anyway so here's a couple other swatches these are also from style maker fabric she's got a lot of rayon shally yeah. um really nice options rayon shally is trickier um lindsay just did a post for um cali fabrics yes for our cali fabrics collaboration this summer we did um 15 tips for sewing with rayon shally and you can find that the link to that blog in my video with the same title 
Um, so I did that mint green maxi dress mm -hmm. if you've been Gorgeous. watching our videos. Um, that was Rayon Shelley. Mm -hmm. And it's hard to explain exactly why Rayon Shelley isn't difficult to sew with because you would think the feel of it, the weight of it, it would be hard. It would be yeah. difficult. It would be shifty. It would move around a lot, which it, it does but not in a way that you can't overcome. Like yeah. there are some like polyesters or silks or things like that, that no matter how precise and slowly and meticulously you do it, it still doesn't come out right. And I don't feel like that's how Rayon Shallow yeah. is at all. Yeah, and I feel like even if, you know, it wasn't perfect as you cut it or as you sewed it, the item you're sewing it's probably a flowy, mm -hmm. drapey to begin with. Pretty forgiving. Really forgiving. You're not gonna notice something just a teensy bit off right. with, with it. With a gathered skirt, exactly, for example. Exactly, yeah. yeah. So I think there's a lot of room for for a little bit of error in there with Rayon Shelley, but yeah. I could sew with this today. I yeah. just love everything about it. So. Yeah, it feels good. It washes well. Mm -hmm. um, it you does know. wrinkle a little bit with wear, depending. Oh, on it's been so humid here that may, I haven't even noticed the wrinkles. <laughs> <laughs> everything you just steams yeah. it out. <laughs> yeah, it's true. Um, but but so yeah, I would check out that post if you're mm -hmm. interested in in trying something with Rayon Shelley. It would be, um, you know. You have to pay attention to what you're doing. You can't just like willy-nilly cut it out and yeah. sew it together like you can with a cotton. But it, a beginner can, can achieve a beautiful looking garment with mm -hmm. rayon chalet. More so than a silk or mm -hmm. a polyester or anything. Chiffon, anything, yeah. any of those kind of... You get this silky-ish kind of feel mm -hmm. without all that fuss. Yes, definitely. So... Okay, yeah, we'll link that below. Yeah, so moving away from our wovens. Yes. Knits. Um, your first knit garment. Don't go online and buy the cheapest fabric you see. You're like, oh, $5 a yard. That's so cheap. Gonna do it. It'll be a nightmare. <laughs> I did it. Believe I me. did it. Yeah, and actually, I did it with um, like a tutorial, like maxi skirt tutorial where That's you just use measurements. With oh the flip God. over, the flip over waistband. I can't even. It went in the trash. I don't even know if I made it to the waistband. Oh, it was awful. It was not wearable. Yeah, mine was bad too. Yeah, and I scratched off this for a while. After that, I was kind of scared away. But there are some really great options out there for knits that aren't scary. Um, the first one up, and it's really a spe specific to the brand. Art Gallery knits are very stable. Um, they're cotton with a little bit of lycra, I believe. Um, they're just a really stable knit. They. We're not going to shift around um, when you're cutting it, when you're sewing it. Um, they just sew really, really nicely, and they wear really nicely, too. Yeah. So I think they're a great place to start. They are a little more pricey, but they're really worth it. And when with knits, you don't need as much yardage, usually. Like a top, I mean, you can go with under a yard sometimes, mm -hmm. tank top. So you really don't need as much yardage with a knit, so you can go up price a little bit. Um, but it also another thing that makes it so tricky is hemming mm -hmm. and these hem so nicely mm -hmm. um, but the really thin cheap knits mm -hmm. um, they're just a nightmare to hem mm -hmm. I mean your machine just tears them up mm -hmm. so yeah give those a try I am really impressed with um, their knits yeah and for those of you who are sewing with quilter cotton I'm sure you're familiar with art gallery they yes. make really great quilter cottons and so maybe try and make a shift a lateral shift like that within a brand that you know you already like like the art gallery cottons try and knit or the cotton and steel mm -hmm. cottons try their rayon yeah they make rayon um, um it's nice. really 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 great quality yeah a lot of experience so it's really love it so yeah. um typically if you if you like a quilting cotton brand they're gonna put the same amount of like quality mm -hmm. into their other substrates too so you could be comfortable trying that yeah definitely and something i've been sewing with a lot and just absolutely love are double knits i love double knits i just made um a little crop tee out of a double knit i made um two dresses i just really love them they're so easy to sew they're another stable knit you don't even need to have a serger. Um, you can sew this up on your regular sewing machine and it's there's gonna be no difference between it and a serger. Of course, serger is faster, mm -hmm. um, but they sew beautifully on a regular sewing machine. Mm -hmm. They hem really nicely, they cut easily, they press easily. Mm -hmm. They're just fabulous. They're a great gratifying. <laughs> 
Yeah, do you think so. these have cotton in them too? Probably. No, most double knits are really oh. polyester. Yeah, this one's poly like This is yeah, um, okay. Stoutmaker Fabrics, another one. They have a big selection of double knits. Uh, Fabric.com also. They're really doing a lot better with their fabrics lately. Um, I don't know if they're under new ownership, but they're really Yeah, Amazon awesome. bought them. Huh. Well, that must be the difference. Amazon bought them. Amazon so bought anytime them. Amazon gets their footprint on anything. Love Amazon. Yeah. I guess, I don't know if they have more partnerships or they just... It's hard mm -hmm. to tell why, but yeah, yeah. Amazon Bob. Yeah, great stuff. I found some really nice stuff on there. It's just, it's, I just love it. I love everything about yeah. it. And oh, these are textured. They got texture. Yeah, they <laughs> almost feel like kind of spongy. Yeah. I'm hesitant to say that word because that will definitely put it in a certain cheap category. They're definitely not yeah. cheap. They're good quality. But um, well, yeah, they're has, good quality, but they're actually really affordable. Yep. Yeah, they're all like in the $10 a year price range. Yeah, so. I think that Stylemaker, Cali Fabrics, the, the people that that we love I think that's why we love them because yeah. the fabric is affordable but when you get it you're like a little bit pleasantly surprised like right. wow I can't believe this was yeah. only yeah. eight dollars exactly or, you know whatever and another thing to mention too these are swatches a lot of online um shops do swatches some are free some are cheap as a dollar mm -hmm. so if you're unsure you just don't know what things feel like um order a swatch that's what we were most excited about when we went to new york city mm -hmm. they're like we hear all these different types of fabric we don't know what they feel like so we just yeah we'll see and like and the suggested things. fabrics on the back of like a mccall's pattern mm -hmm. and we're like what, is, what that? is that it's still to this day there are some of them that are on there that i have no idea yeah. what what that is and you don't want to spend all this time researching Georgette, for example, only to realize that Georgette is too complicated yeah. for you. It's too difficult of a yeah. fabric for you to use. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, doing that or even going, if you have like a Joanne in your area, going there, going to the fashion fabric section mm -hmm. and just walking through and feeling things and looking to see what they're made of. Um, I think that that, that helps me a lot yeah. and learn about fabrics and yeah. the more that you become familiar with certain types of substrates the more that it becomes almost common sense as to what you would use for one project versus another project mm -hmm. but so hopefully this has inspired yeah. you guys to um try sewing with a fashion fabric period mm -hmm. um, if you've never done that before or if you're brand 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 new to sewing and haven't even sewn with a quilter cotton before um maybe you can get off get started off on mm -hmm. a different foot than most people yes. which which would be kind of fun yeah. i think to just have skipped all over because of this exactly. video yeah <laughs> that would be great <laughs> um but for those experienced sewists out there if you have any suggestions for our viewers as to fabrics that you think are perfect for beginners that we haven't mentioned today feel free to put those in the comments mm -hmm. and for those beginners out there if you have any questions you can leave those in the comments um like i've said like we've mentioned our favorites uh, style maker fabrics and cali fabrics mm -hmm. both of them are very responsive with questions that you may have um yeah so other than that just you know subscribe to our channel if you haven't already and be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you found it to be helpful yeah. um follow us on inside the hem on social media on instagram twitter facebook pinterest i mean google plus if you're into that yeah. Uh, every week you come out with a new one <laughs> we're we're basically anywhere that you can be we just really only pay attention to the ones that we really yeah. love so that's maybe why other ones pop into my head <laughs> but when we started we just we got an account everywhere so um, i'm just into instagram i don't know yeah <laughs> I track yeah, yeah that's that's my favorite one too probably but anyways <laughs> yeah follow us there to keep up with what we are doing in between videos and be sure to tune in next week where we are going to talk about um, re good resources, good online resources for beginners. And we'll link the last two weeks videos, the other videos in the series that have already been published, um, we'll link those down below too. Is that everything? Yeah. Good uh, Lord, that was like the it. longest wrap up ever. <laughs> <laughs> Bye guys, thanks. Week.